Greetings, friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman, and this is BizKaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads. I'm about to show you a marketing effort. You're about to pass judgment on that effort, letting me know whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly, and I will let you know my thoughts as well. The last time we did a, a marketing campaign from a printer and to other businesses, and it was a newsletter that's sent out quarterly. Today I want to show you a different effort from a different printer. Take a look at this. Okay, what a hefty package. I can't, uh, this probably weighs, you know, eight ounces maybe, half a pound. Eh, I don't know if it's that much, but it's pretty heavy. Take a look at that. First of all, odd size. Second of all, full color. Third of all, intriguing content. Fourth of all, interesting flap. Fifth, pull it out and look at what is inside. I wish you could feel this. Feels like leather. Shiny, beautiful, nifty little flap. And when you open that flap up, more grooviness like you would not believe in the form of all kinds of pieces of paper of all different sizes and uh, I'll show you those kind of a, a, a bunch of those separately. I'll thumb through them for you. But man, what an elaborate effort uh, to try to win the business of other businesses. The question is, is this elaborate piece good, bad, or ugly? Please take as much time as you need to uh, evaluate this particular package. And once you have, start the video again and I will tell you what I think. Pretty impressive package, wouldn't you say? I'm not going to open them up again, but again, take a look at that envelope and, it, and how thick this was, full of the papers that you just saw if you uh, went through the rest of the video. Uh, tricky little tab there, and then you opened it up and it's paper after paper after paper. No letter that went along with it, just showing you samples of their stuff. Is it good, bad, or ugly? I, I'm not sure how you voted, but I will tell you this. It was not ugly, but it definitely was not good. There's many problems with this particular package. Very expensive to do, definitely showcases the printer's capabilities, but makes uh, no argument in other than the de facto quality of the printing alone which you can get elsewhere. You can get the fancy die cuts elsewhere. Uh, they made no case and no offer. And that is uh, an absolute no-no. Furthermore, they sent it to me not knowing anything about my company to speak of. Yes, they knew I was an agency for lack of a better term, but having no idea what kind of clients I uh, uh, have or what my clients might be interested in, and even my geography is not anywhere near them. This was just a shotgun approach and far, far too good to shotgun. If they had targeted me wisely and sent a package like this to me or to agencies or companies that could use this level of quality along with a pitch and an offer as part of what they were showing, it could have been an excellent promotion. But they left out the critical stuff, the stuff that Hardy Press did not leave out in their more simple newsletter that would have made it possible for uh, them to generate business as it is, they just threw their money away. Don't do that with your marketing. Make sure you target your audiences specifically and accurately, and then provide to them content and materials that make sense for the uh, uh, kind of return that you can reasonably expect. And if you do that, you will succeed in getting more customers who will pay you more money, more often, 
far faster, easier, and more cost effectively than this particular effort. That's what we teach you to do right here on BizKaboom and in Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads.